Hi everybody. We're gonna work with Play-Doh today. And I'm gonna overview some of the things you can do to build fine motor and some numeracy skills, some real world skills like using scissors and cutlery. All right, so here's my Play-Doh. Everyone has some Play-Doh in their kits. The first thing that I like to do is just get the kids to squish it. If you make it into a big ball, you can get them to stick their finger in. And you can make another big ball. You can also start to make little balls and get them to squish each little ball. So I just make the balls and then I pass them to the kid and the kid will squish them down. And I keep going, lots of repetition. And maybe you just stay right here today. The other thing you can do is say clean up and get the kids to pick up all the little balls and make it into a big ball. After you've got balls, which they've done at school, you can try making snakes, long snakes, longer snakes, longer snakes, you can do skinnier snakes. And once they've had fun with snakes, you can try the same thing, see if they can squish it and stick it to the table or the tray that you're using. Bloop, 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 bloop. You can also take a table knife if you're comfortable with that and get the kids to cut the snake into little bits. You can also have them use the scissors they have in their kit to cut it. And this is a lot of great practice in fine motor control and real world skills. And then we'll clean up again. The other things I have here are just things you find around your house. So let's say a fork. So if I make a ball and then I can ask my student, take your fork and squish it. Bloop. It's like you're making, I made peanut butter cookies like this when I was a kid. Squish your cookie and so on. With our spoon, we can take a big chunk of Play-Doh like all of the Play-Doh. Get it warmed up a little bit. Okay, so then I've got my big chunk of Play-Doh. I can take my spoon and I can take bits. And you can say, take one bit, you can count for them, or you can ask them to say, to take two bits, one, two, and you're modeling counting, three, and you're modeling again, one, two, three, and you can keep going to a number that's comfortable for them. And you count one, two, three, four, five, you can also say, put them in groups of two. Groups of two, two, two. And again, every, every child's a little different. So go with what your child is comfortable with. Last but not least, I've got a cup here. Just a regular plastic cup. You can squish it in the plastic cup. Really squish it down. And then you can try to wiggle it out. Squishing, squishing, squishing and you make a little sandcastle. All right, have fun. When you're done, take a picture of your work so that you can text it to me or email it to me so I can see what everybody's doing.